recently thought about what if COVID never stopped? What if this pandemic became an endemic? A never ending pandemic. We are in the middle of a worldwide pandemic and it's not over yet. Even though we are slowly beating COVID by the number of vaccinated people, people are still asking whether we will ever get rid of COVID and if we do, will there be a new COVID? The answer is yes. We will slowly beat COVID and yes, this will not be our last pandemic. In recent years, there have been many diseases that have leaped into human hosts, such as the most famous one, the zoonotic disease, which is a fancy name for an animal disease transferred to a human. Although COVID-19 may seem to you like a disaster, it was not as harsh as others like smallpox, polio, Ebola, and AIDS, and will be less lethal than the viruses of the future. At least with COVID-19, scientists were able to quickly develop a cadre of effective vaccines. Why did COVID feel like a horror in the US? What did we do wrong? When the World Health Organization first called COVID-19 a pandemic on March 11th, 2020, few people had any idea what the world was in for. As of the time I am writing this, there have been 46.8 million cases and 729,000 deaths in the US alone, which is crazy, right? And these are just two data points which illustrate how badly we've handled this pandemic. Get prepared because this is not our last pandemic. Even though COVID-19 is broadly viewed as once in a lifetime or once in a century pandemic, modeling work based on historical data shows that this is not necessarily the case. Scientists estimate that the annual probability of another global pandemic on any given year is to be between 2.7% to 3.3%, which means a 47 to 57% chance of another global pandemic as deadly as COVID-19 in the next 25 years. These data points shows the importance of preparing immediately for future outbreaks. Outbreaks will occur, it's just a matter of where and when. This data begs the question, what can we do to prepare for a future pandemic? To prepare for a future pandemic, we would need three things. We would need a better organization. We would need to agree on who is responsible for hospital, vaccine developments. Government needs to work with other governments. More distribution, we need a better distribution. We need to give out vaccines to poor countries. The US is begging people to get vaccinated and in other countries, they don't even have the vaccine yet. And there needs to be more willingness on the part of businesses to ensure that we have the research and the technology that we would need. If we wanna finish this pandemic and prepare for another pandemic, we would need these very important things. Now, why should we get prepared? Because if we are not prepared, then these things will happen again and again and again. 